Welcome everyone to another Malware Geek Review. Today we're going to be taking a look at MCSoft Anti-Malware. Um, this is MCSoft's flagship product. Um, and uh, I released a video about a month or a month and a half ago uh, detailing MCSoft's anti-ransomware capabilities. And it was very exciting to see their behavior blocker take care of all of the ransomware samples that I threw against it, even without their reputation services it was able to handle the ransomware rather easily. So today we're going to be doing the full review, uh, throwing the usual 10 malicious URLs at MCSoft as well as a malware pack to determine its overall prevention abilities as well as its overall detection rate and zero-day capabilities. So if we dive into the product, the user interface is pretty simple and straightforward. You got your protection uh, module, your scanning module, quarantine, and logs. You also have the ability to access those different modules up here in the top toolbar here. They also have a game mode so that MCSoft won't interrupt you in the middle of your gaming experience. If we take a look at the protection uh, module, you can uh, search for application rules or add application rules here. You have your surf protection, which basically blocks um, malicious URLs. You can also um, add your own rules as well as change how it handles the malicious URLs, such as blocking and notifying, privacy risks, pups, phishing hosts. So it does block phishing URLs. That's exciting. You have your file, file guard, which um, scans files that are activated or downloaded to the computer and blocks them if they are known to be malicious. And of course, you have your behavior blocker which is the most exciting part or one of the most exciting parts of this uh, program in their zero day um, component which blocks unknown malware uh, based on its behavior on the system. You have your scan tab which you can start a quick scan, a malware scan, or a custom scan. Under here under quarantine you have all your items that were detected. Uh, shows you the risk level, the date submitted, etc. Your logs uh, basically shows you uh, what was detected, what wasn't. So, and you have your different um, logs for your, uh, you know, your surf protection and file guard, etc. So this is a clean machine um, under here under the logs. Uh, I didn't change any of these settings, by the way. Um, I actually just enabled detection of pups. That's the only thing I changed. Um, and that they ask you that when you install the program. So I did enable that setting because I think most users would actually do that. So we are going to check for updates. I already checked once, but we're going to check again while it's doing that. Let's check its resource usage. It's probably going to be a little bit high because of the uh, update that's going on. Why is the task manager not starting? Give me just a second here to figure out why task manager is not loading. Okay, so I finally got the um, task manager started. And as we can see here that MCSoft is quite high on their resource usage. Um, that is one of the highest amounts of memory used by any anti-malware application that I've seen to date. Um, so I'm not sure if that was because it was applying an update, but the update process is now over. So definitely not pleased with the overall memory usage there. That is a ridiculously high amount of memory. And I am noticing a little bit of a system slowdown because it took a minute for the task manager to actually respond and load. So that's something definitely that they could fix, in my opinion. So I have changed the uh, default web page of the um, browser here on the virtual machine. Anybody wants to know why, they can view that uh, video that I uploaded today regarding YouTube's um, flagging of my Norton review. So anyways, MCSoft is fully up to date and the protection module is on. So we are going to go ahead and punch in some malicious URLs here and see how it handles them. So here is our first weird link and it is blocked by MCSoft. So the first one has been taken care of by their web blocking service. Let's try the next malicious URL. That one is also blocked 
by MCSoft. These are fairly fresh links from today and yesterday. So we'll see how well um, it handles them. This one seems to be dead. Let's try this next one. That one is blocked. No malware host and it has been blocked. I like their simple alert system. It's easy. Tells you what's going on, what happened. That's about it. That one is also blocked. I know in phishing host. So that's exciting. It also catches phishing uh, links. Let's try this one. That one is also blocked. So far it has blocked every single one. It hasn't even allowed a file to load up. This one actually loads up. Interesting. Okay. Well, we'll run it. Um, but it appears that it wasn't allowed to run. No, it wasn't. Looks like it was a Trojan. And MCSoft got rid of it. This one also loads up. Let's see if it gets past their malware protection engine or their behavior blocker. Hmm, this one may actually be a legitimate. Uh, this one looks like it's legit. So we will count that as a dead link. Here's our next malicious URL. has a very revealing name. .exe. Very funny. But it's blocked by MCSoft. Okay, and here's our final malicious URL. And it looks like it's dead. So let me grab uh, some more links and I'll be back. Okay, so I grabbed uh, three more links here. So let's go ahead and try them out. See what MCSoft can do about them. This one loads up. I think this one is some sort of a Trojan. Well, yeah. It was a Trojan. It was detected by MCSoft as well as by Windows Defender because, again, I forgot to disable it, although I thought MCSoft disabled it. But it got rid of it, so and it detected it, so it wouldn't have run anyway. It was a, yeah, it was a Trojan. So... That one was blocked by MCSoft. This one appears to be some sort of phishing website, and it was not caught by MCSoft. But download file information. You let's see if this one actually tries to suck and are stupid at. Yahoo.com None of your business. Actually, you know what? This is not a real password. Okay, let's see if it tries to service a file. Uh, nope. Okay. Well, I'll grab another link then. That one got caught. Malware host blocked. Hang on a second. Let me grab one more link. Okay, so here's another one. Bot.exe is going to be the file name. Pretty obvious there. They're giving you a bot. If you want it, have it. But it's blocked by MCSoft, so it's not a problem. So that was a clean sheet for MCSoft. I didn't see any malware load up, so I'm not going to do a second opinion scan because I'm pretty confident that it got rid of all the malware files. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to grab my malware pack, put it on the desktop, and then we're going to do a scan with MCSoft, see how many it detects, and then we'll run the uh, rest of the files. So I'll be back. Okay, so MCSoft did finish scanning. It left over 36 items, um, but actually there were some encrypted archives in here that I missed. When I went through this folder, didn't realize there were encrypted archives, so I removed them. There were 14 of them. So I'm not going to count those as files that it scanned. So the starting uh, count was actually 813 uh, minus 36, 777 out of 813, 95.5%. Great. 
that is a fantastic detection ratio. So now let's go ahead and make sure that MCSoft is on. File guard is active again. There we go. And let's run some of these. Looks like it's missing some of their configuration files here. Let's run this one. This one apparently runs Notepad for some reason. They probably got rid of the more serious infections. This one looks like it crashed. We do have this weird temporary file here uh, and here we go um, suspicious behavior has been found in the following program program was recognized as safe so it has been recognized as safe this is the reputation service and their behavior blocker um, working together that's fantastic even though it's a safe file that's really great let's try this one brain freeze uninstall Okay. Oh, when it got rid of my malware folder. What the heck just happened? <laughs> I just got rid of my malware folder. <laughs> I didn't ask it to uninstall the malware folder. That's kind of weird. Okay. Well, um... Alright. So, that's weird. It just deleted our file. Um, so I guess that's going to be the end of the test then. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just, uh, scan with Hitmap Pro and we'll see if there's any funny stuff going on, but we can kind of see that their behavior blocker and reputation service there does work, even though that was one just example there. Um, it is exciting to see that their behavior blocker is responsive, even though that was a safe file. I'm not going to redo the detection rate for one safe file or whatever. Um, because it's, it's not going to change it, if at all. It's not going to change the percentage. So we're just going to go with the 95.5%. But it is exciting to see that their behavior blocker is active. And, of course, if you want to see more of their behavior blocker, I did do an anti-ransomware um, video uh, and whatnot. So I'm going to let this scan, and we're going to see if we have any funny stuff. And then uh, that'll be the end of the test, I guess. So, oh, looks like we do have something that detected. So... I'll be back with the results. Okay, so Hitman Pro found a potentially, well, riskware. It calls it riskware. Some sort of adware in app data local temp. And Zamana Anti Malware found a potentially unwanted program in app data roaming. That slipped past um, MCSoft. But we had no serious infections. Uh, its usability is easy, simple. However, its memory usage needs to be improved. Um, it's good to see their behavior blocker is active. I'm thoroughly convinced just by the anti-ransomware video as well as, you know, seeing that it was active even though it detected suspicious behavior that it works. So, I really have... Um, nothing really horrible to say about this program other than its resource usage um, so it's good to see them uh, see it working um, and I'm excited for this program um, I recommend it um, like I said um, their resource usage could use an improvement but other than that it's really you know its usability isn't clunky you know it's not difficult to understand what's going on it's you know so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this uh review please uh share this with your family and friends and i will talk to you later